across the vast northwest. On today's episode, we have Buzzsaw McThunder. It's a juicy IPA from Spokane, Washington. From a little brewery called Iron Goat Brewing Company. It's brewed in far out Spokane, Washington, according to the label. Far out, man. And it's a Try this at home. Okay. All right. It's your goat to beer. I'm goat. Goat to. Okay. Yeah. Pale golden color. This juicy India pale ale boasts bold aromas of grapefruit and pineapple with hints of mango, papaya, and citrus. It finishes clean and slightly heavy with a mild lingering bitterness. Sorry, cat was trying to. Cat was being an asshole. Uh, this ale is brewed and bottled by Iron Goat Brewing Company using only water, malt, hops, and yeast. And it comes in at... 6.8%! Huzzah! I can read! We haven't been doing many IPAs lately because we both kind of got bored and burned out on IPAs, but this can is just so epic. Oh, it's great. That the can art is... We kind of had to do yeah, it. Yeah, we, we so. had to. The can art totally got us. Yeah. Don't judge a book by its cover. Well, we're judging a beer by its cover so far, and we think it's going to be awesome. But we could be wrong. I mean, with a name like Bugs, Buzz Sonic Thunder, you kind of have yeah. to try it. Seriously. <laughs> and there. There we go. Alright. But yeah, the, uh, I don't know, he's almost. Hulk Hogan-esque looking dude on here. Yeah, you got the handlebar mustache, yeah. the sunglasses. Not really given the metal horns, but like the hook'em horns. Yeah. For you Texas fans. <laughs> um, fuck it. Let's see. Smells like an IPA. It smells like a juicy IPA. I am juicy. getting a little bit of the fruitiness in that smell. So juicy. Let's look at the juke, kid. Yeah, that's an IPA. I can yeah. taste it. It's citrusy. Hoppy, of course. Crisp. Clean. Um, not bad. For an IPA, not bad. For an IPA, yeah. Um, if you're not an IPA, you probably won't dig it. You can do a 375. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. 375. Well, it's, it's just a step away from a 4. But uh, it's well balanced. Uh, you'll get the fruity notes are pretty mild. They're not. They're not terribly forward. They're just. They're more there just to get your uh, your salivary glands going, kind of thing. Probably some citron hops. Um, yeah. And they put some stuff in there. <laughs> that thought just fucking collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right there. Well, the the beeping out there distracted me, and oh. then I just forgot where I was going with it. But um. That's surprisingly chuggable. Chuggable. That's quite chuggable. You can chug it. And it won't. <laughs> oh! Some of that pepper beer left over there. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be too stingy in the throat. And, uh, yeah. No, I mean, the, the hops are definitely, you know, they're very much in the dry aftertaste. You get a good chunk of it. Yeah, it's it's very, for IPA, very chunkable. Yep. If you can get a hold of it, get a hold of it, give it a shot. If you can't, yeah. sorry. There's other IPAs out there. You'll yeah. find something you like. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode of Brew Trekking. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring that there bell so you'll know exactly when we post new episodes. Hey, and share with your friends, folks. Let people know about us. Yeah. Or else. Oof. Or else we'll keep doing these to our, I don't know, 18, 18 viewers we have now, <laughs> subscribers. Thank you, you 18 subscribers. We love you. You rock. But maybe share us a little bit so we can do some more. And then we can buy more things. Right. And, and get, you know, get a better setup. Yeah. You know. I mean, we're, we're slowly making a better setup. We got a lighting rig. We got a backdrop. We got stuff. Stuff and things. Thank you, folks.